But I first found of XMNA in 2015, and I talk about this in my video, and by having that community, that gave me the strength and the impetus to say, you know, I can speak up about this. And I realized that I had been living a closeted, inauthentic, restricted life. Mm. And then what happens is other people around you and extended family will say, see, that guy left Islam, even though he's quiet about it, he left Islam. And certain life milestones that happen for other people, he's left out. And it's like, are you, are you serious? You know, I'm actually trying to placate Muslims, sacrificing my own life, my, my own personal development, my own authenticity, and then now that's being used against me. Hmm. So yeah, that's why exactly. I'm like, enough of this bullshit. Um, it's time that we speak up about this because it affects our lives, so many people's everyday lives. It's such a mind job done on you. And so I thought, I need to get involved. And at the same time, there was, you know, the sort of the Sam Harris, Ben Affleck thing that had just happened. So there was multiple touch points. And I was like, I need to get involved. And so originally, I was going to do it under my own name. And then I thought, you know what? As soon as I do, people are going to go, you know, the Amadia community or the Jamath for short is going to be like, hey, that guy, he is uh, persona non grata. He's left. He's, he, forget him. Right. And so then anything else I say is going to get ignored. So that's why I thought the best way for me to do this is to do this under an alias. They can't attack me personally. They can't go after ad hom. They can't attack my family. They're going to have to focus on the issues. And then when I have enough material out there, I will take ownership of the alias. Right. And now they can't ignore me. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.